the most distinctive Franciscan rock is chert. This is the rock that's made out of recrystallized skeletons of those microscopic sea creatures, the radiolarians. And geologists argue about what causes the layers. Some think that back in Jurassic times there were changes in productivity in the ocean. So you would get a period of time where the radiolarians flourished and then there'd be a big die-off and all you would get was silt and sand and volcanic ash blown from land that landed in the ocean that settled down. And that accounts for the different layerings, the thick layers of chert during the good times and the thin layers of shale during the, the times of famine in the ocean. There's others that say, oh, no, 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 all this stuff came down together. And when it turned to rock, the silica molecules segregated themselves from the silt and the sand and the clay, leaving that behind. And that's what's caused the layering, a diagenetic, a chemical change as the rock hardened. Now it's time to head downhill again. In about five minutes, you'll pass a flat area on your right. A sign there will tell you about Mountain House, which hosted some of Mount Diablo's first tourists in the late 1800s. Our next stop is at the road crossing just above Sunset Picnic Area. There you'll find some outstanding greenstone, also known as pillow basalt. It's not as broken up as the rock we saw above, so you'll get a better sense of what the pillows look like. There's also a sparkly rock called blue schist. Stop 1.7 is just before the road crossing at the Sunset Picnic Area.